We have uh, Rohan now who's written in through email. He's already purchased a flat. The project consists of six blocks and 300 flats. Now, according to the section plan, one block has got has received permission for construction up to 10 floors. But the developer has built 17 floors instead. Two blocks are ready for position. Will this be legal? Even in the sale deed, uh, he says that the project consists of six blocks of which one block has 10 floors. Does the registered deed have any value? Can he get the flat registered? Will this affect his undivided share? Uday? Uh, too many questions at a point. Too many questions, but, but, but it's a very but we'll, common... We'll common uh, questions. We'll come problem. one by one. See, the first thing that he says is that he has increased the number of flaws. Now, the question is, what was his original plan? And then, did he modify the plan without consent? In Maharashtra, MOFA is still there. Under Section 7, you are not allowed unless there is a specific consent taken by, by every flat purchaser to change the plan. It's very, very clear. But the question then is whether he has got an additional approval for the additional flows by the municipality. Anything and everything can happen with the authorities. And therefore, if the plans are sanctioned uh, properly, then maybe you'll have to challenge that petition in the High Court. Otherwise, consumer court would be proper. But uh, thirdly, now he is saying that, uh, uh, what was the third question that he was asking is uh, that in this scenario, what can he do and whether it will be legal. The he mood, wants to know whether the registered deed has any value. Of course, whatsoever. registered deed. Can he get this flat registered? How will it impact his undivided share? Very good property? question because registration secures you totally. See, it is like this. If you make an unregistered agreement, it will be impounded by the authorities because that will be non-payment of the stamp duty. And that will be an offence. And therefore, your uh, document can be impounded. There can be 200% penalty on it, which will be tough for you. And it will not be a legal document in civil courts or other courts of law apart from consumer court. So therefore, registration is a must. Once a document is registered, your agreement is pakka, as they say it. For the simple reason is, if you have to cancel and register the agreement, then you have to go to a court of law. Or you have to go to registrar and seek the necessary permissions for consent. So what is important is registration gives you a lot of sanctity. Everything that is registered has a lot of sanctity. You see, even in case of will, there is a lot of sanctity to a registered will. Birla's case, we all right. know. So essentially, you should be registering. If you sign any agreement, ensure that you register that agreement. That goes without saying that's something that... Kavita, the additional be, point is, even uh, registration process, yeah. there are photographs given, there's evidence of both the parties before the registrar. That is a cl clinching evidence of a deal. Right. So, essentially, it's the only proof that you have that you are the owner of the property. The title is, it gets transferred in your name legally and the government has a record that this particular property belongs to you. That is the reason why you need to register the property. Uh, now, the other thing, of course, that you need to keep in mind is that the developer cannot change the plan, cannot alter the approved plan without getting consent from all the buyers. So that is one of the rights, one of the rights that you have as a buyer. You need to know your rights. You can actually take the developer to court and seek compensation. You can watch live TV on our website, mbnow.in. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Magic Bricks Now. And don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at Magic Bricks Now. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com forward slash Magic Bricks Now.